全国来週戦国人流国防戦国そしてニその先の力というもの、うん、ブリーチブレインデスソーツ Alright, lads, this is your bud, the Dash Smasher, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And today, we are going to be finally showcasing Thousand Year Blood War Yoruichi. Got her resurrection alongside Ichigo Kisuke and Yuha, and this character got the best upgrade. Now, upon release, she was literally second best or best uh, in banner alongside Ichigo. It was really all coming down to personal preference. The only difference is that. Unlike Ichigo, who had recharge, Yoruichi didn't have that. But on the other hand, the thing that Yoruichi had was a lot more strong attack damage. Even though Ichigo was completely compensating that through the actual uh, boost that he had on the second strong attack. Pretty good SP and the transformation mechanic. That being said, on her kit, upon release, she did have a hitbox detection problem where it would not hit the enemies in front. So we're gonna see if that's been changed when showcasing this character as a whole. But the skills she had, she had 20% Bruiser, Devastation of 40%, Long Reach of 20%, Frenzy plus one, Debilitator of plus five seconds, and Spurn plus one. So yeah, she has six skills, so she can get two more. And from this character, what she needs the most is Recharge on the Soul Trait, Havoc, and Berserker. That is all she needs to be good again. And even then, even before getting resurrected, she was already good and ready to be used if you had her 2-5 and wanted to bring her in IT as long as the enemy mobs happened to be hollow. But now here we are, uh, this is my copy, Max Transcended. Wait, do I have links? Oh, okay, I do. <laughs> Don't mind that. She picked up strong attack regis time of minus 10%. So that is fabulous. This character has four flash ups. So you want to keep up that recharge time in order to spam those strong attacks. And you can even get away with giving her long stride while in the process of doing that. And the skills? She picked up an extra 20% Berserker. So now increased strong attack damage of 40% and havoc of 20%. Yeah, this character got the best upgrade. This is literally the best resurrection that we have to date, which is crazy to think. I would even argue to say second best right behind Thousand Year Blower Kenny. Now, yeah, Kenny, he didn't pick up Recharge, and that's fine, but you also gotta keep in mind that Kenny, upon release, was pretty much not great. Whereas this character was, and she only needed a few things, and she got those said few things. Nothing wasted, nothing completely screwed over. That is what I love to see. Not the BS that we had with Shinsu where he got follow-up and Toshiro got damage to frozen enemies. Just straight up raw damage, increase in range, cooldown. <laughs> GG's, Caleb. GG's. Now that's a resurrection. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing two builds like always. The first being the Sinkaisen build and then the hybrid SAR SAD setup. And because we have co-op IT available, we're gonna showcase her in there solo. So starting off with the Sinkaisen build, Reset, Badge, Pill, and then we have Rukia, Halibo, and the Sinkazin. Both the Sinkazin and Rukia have low 10 SP, while Halibo is 5-5 five five with 2 star SP. Low 10 SP at that. So yeah, increased round attack damage of 120%, full stam at 77%, while keeping the 170% increased spiritual pressure. And to top that off, we're bringing with us 7th Anniversary Uryu because he does give us an additional 20% buff to our strong attack damage as you guys can see right here and then Jusho because this guy is gonna be boosting on his SA2 and this is gonna be crazy to see what this character can do because she is a transforming character on top of that oh and uh yeah SP over 6k oh yeah let's give ourselves a brief reminder of the kit uh she has double lunges Pretty much similar to like uh, Zombie Tosho, etc. But like, look at that. Because she picked up Havoc, good god. The reach in her strong attacks, it's good. It's insane. <laughs> like, literally. And it's always nice to give her launch, right? So, let's see what she can do. Sadly, we don't have hollows here, so we won't get to see the best damage that we can do, but still, this is gonna be good. Look at that 34k, 36k on the SA1. SA2, 43k, and 38k. 
Keep in mind, this is all without killer, so... Oh, oh god. <laughs> I just now... I realized my stamina count. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, let's boost us up. Okay. Uh, I need to remap my button. Let's, let's boost us up with Jushiro and switch on over to Yoruichi, goddammit! 42k on the SA1. 47k on the SA2. And 44k on the SA3. <laughs> uh, can we transform in time to do this? Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, she spawns in a vortex behind her as well. Look at that, 55k. That's crazy. 48k. 44k. Yeah, good god. She's hitting the straight 40k's without the boost. We're gonna boost those up again. Ooh, this character was just ahead of this time. Like, all she needed was literally everything that she needed, and she got that. And the hitbox has also been fixed, which is nice. Look at that, 71k against all those. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, let's start another run real quick. Okay, let's transform. Oh, God. I need to... Boost us up with Dushiro, and... 51k! And... 54k. Yeah. This is good. This is good. All without killer. Oh, and one thing to take note of, because of the fact that she has a uh, vortex surrounding her upon transforming, means that if you give this character weakened defense, you can literally proc in weakened defense as long as the vortex is active. So for GQ, this is going to be a very valuable asset to have, and you can very well easily get over sub 10, thanks to that special alone. Now granted, it's not as strong as most uh, nukers that we have in the game, but still, it's a valid option that you guys can choose to go for if you guys have this character 5-5, and it's good. It's very fantastic. But now, let's just go ahead and finish up right here, move on to the hybrid SAR SAD setup, and see what this character can do from there. Let's just steal the soul bomb. There we go. That damage number on the soul bomb is crazy. Up next, the hybrid SAR SAD setup, and uh, all three of the links are match transcended with 500 SP. So this is brilliant. Look at how much uh, strong attack damage multipliers we have: 117 percent, 46 percent cooldown reduction. That's good because let's be honest here. With the fact that this character is very speedy, has four flash steps, you pretty much want to have more cooldowns than strong attack damage, and in this case. It's gonna be working nicely in our favor. So let's get into it. Oh, and look at that. 6.6k SP. <laughs> That's crazy. That's very crazy. Let's get into it. Alright, let's see what this character can do. Yeah, 27k, 30k, and 27k once again. Yeah, she's hitting up. Really damn good damage. It's good. Now with the boost 30k, 37k. And hold on, SA3 will now let us do 32k. Not bad. Now let's transform. We're definitely gonna have to do another one with this quite soon, but uh, yeah. 44k, 34k. Uh, I think the boost ran out. I can't even see. <laughs> oh my goodness. 42k. Nice, nice. And can we use it? Yeah, 37k. Yeah! <laughs> Yuruichi is just nasty and is fun to play. In my opinion, her resurrection has very nicely helped her go back up the ranks. And if I were to give my honest opinion, I'd definitely say that she's an honorable mention. And if not that, low top 10 speed characters in the game for sure. Just what she got is just crazy insane. Granted, you do need to have her top 5, be crazy good in every single type of content, but even at 2-5 for IT, she still is going to be a very good character to have. The transformation mechanic is going to be very questionable. But now, let's see the damage that she can do with the boost and transform. Okay, now let's boost this up with Yushiro. And lastly, transform. 
Let's wait for the vortex to go away so that way we can see the proper damage. There we go. 39k, 45k, and 39k. All without Killer, by the way. If we had Killer, good god, the damage that she would do would be so damn nasty. It would be crazy good. Okay, I think it's time we move on to uh, Inheritance Trials and see what this character can do. Alright lads, here we are in co-op Inheritance Trials. We have the same build as previously, being the hybrid SAR SAB setup. And uh, yeah, from here we're gonna see what this character can do. Here we have Ningen mobs, but thankfully we're not getting screwed over because they're immune to freeze and not paralysis. So we should be doing quite good here. So let's see what this character is capable of and shout out to my boy Venmo for coming in. But uh, yeah, let's just get started. Alrighty, let's begin. And yeah, look at that. She's putting in quite a decent amount of work. We just need to be careful not to get paralyzed. Keep in mind, this character is not immune to any type of status on this. So that's one thing we need to be very careful about. But uh, yeah, thankfully, uh, this character... Honestly, she was already better than Shun Sui, Thanks to the kit that she had and was way more consistent. But like here, with the fact that she's got status on this... Yeah, she's definitely doing a lot better, for sure. Even better when she even has killer to begin with. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's very good. Really nice to see a 2018 character make a huge comeback. Like, look at what she's putting in. And here we don't have killer, once again. I'm definitely gonna nuke it at the next map because Orihime and Uyu are stupidly annoying. Yeah, there we go. And... Okay, let me keep my distance. Now, if this character had Guard Break, that would have been the icing on the cake, but honestly, I don't mind it because I don't have too many high expectations for uh, resurrections nowadays. However, with the fact of how they resurrected Yoruichi and Keisuke, kind of sparked a glimmer of hope that maybe we can get better resurrections in the future. But we'll just have to wait and see for that. So, yeah. I think Orihime should be spawning in the soon if I'm correct. Come on. Is she not here yet? Okay, maybe with this next batch, uh, she should spawn in. Yeah, she spawned in. There we go. Yeah, I'm not screwing with that damn Orihime, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. And of course, in her transform state, she's just gonna be doing even more damage. So that's good. <laughs> Boom. Just like that. I doubt we'll get to the final map like this, but hey, this is still gonna help us out with clearing faster for sure. It's a transforming character, you, so you definitely want to use the Soul Bomb a bit earlier than, uh, you know, keep it at the last map. So, yeah. Come on, boom. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. We're pretty much smoking through this. Jackie's still alive! Oh, not anymore now. <laughs> and final map, let's do this. Ooh, that was close. I can't fit longer here, but that's okay. There we go. Look at that. The Havoc is coming in clutch here. Hitting multiple wave of mobs from the far distance. Come on. Boom! And now all that's left is to take out Ginjo and Tsukishima. <laughs> Look at that! How we just paralyzed Ginjo is hilarious, man. I swear. And we took and we took a bit of damage, but Well, there goes my perfect run. But that's okay. We won at the end of the day. Just like that. Boom. Yeah, lads, this is how you resurrect the character. Easily. She's worth Maxion sending. Easily. 
This character will always mark a special place in my heart because she was one of my very first characters to have 5-5 five five and action send it and just helped carry a lot of content for me. She did. Heck, even once we got the GQ revamp, guess who was the first character that I literally got to use for GQ when they literally made Transcendence Matter a lot? This character right here, so. It took us almost four minutes to clear, but in my opinion, for a solo clear time, that is pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent. And the next showcase to expect is easily going to be Thousand Year Blower Keyscape, so stay tuned for that. This has been your buddy Dash Master, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So take care, lads. Peace out.